first of all, I should say that I grew up in a small town called San Lorenzo, Puerto Rico. I was actually um, having tons of animals in the farm that I grew up with. We have like goats, chickens, turkeys, everything. Uh, and I always wanted to understand, you know, how animals behave, their understanding, what's going on inside them. I did my undergrad in biology at the University of Puerto Rico in Umacao. And during me, my undergrad time, I decided to do several summer internships, either about pollination or the ecology of like plants. Uh, so I got basically to the point that I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do grad school. So I travel all the way from the tropical areas to Midwest, uh, to Wisconsin more specifically, and I did a PhD at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in entomology. So that's how I became, um, you know, a pollinator biologist. That's my expertise. My favorite uh, insect or pollinator out there is the bumblebee. Bumblebees, of course, they're like big and fluffy and that's adorable. And actually, they hit walls. So. <laughs> I feel, I mean, I can say I feel identified with that, uh, but the thing is like, hey, if you hit a wall, you recover from it and you continue. Um, so a bumblebee is my favorite insect and actually favorite animal. I'm very proud that I was like the first Hispanic faculty in biology at Stolic Community College. Also, I'm part of the queer LGBTQ community. So a lot of students, of course, need more representation. So I'm always there to support them and find ways of like, how can we all collaborate together as a community? My big picture dream, uh, and I just want every single student out there, doesn't matter like their ethnicity, their race, their sexual orientation, to have the same opportunity as everyone else. Biology should be, of course, accessible to everyone. So that's my biggest dream. And I think we are starting to see some results. So that's just, that's very inspiring. I'm very excited to be on this stage and collaborate with one of the directors. Uh, I really believe in the mission and vision that the Sageland group has for conservation. The most important theme that I'm excited about conservation is the education and outreach aspect. Uh, you know, we are um, here in Utah where unfortunately there has been some decline of particular species um, and we need to like start educating the community, either at the college, farmer's market, just talking to your family members or friends, neighbors, about what it is to conserve, like what it is to reduce water, what it is to like plant and certain things around your garden. So I think the education part will make us like go further in the conservation field. So this goes beyond the biologists and that's what I'm more excited about. So Latinx or Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is a very important month. Of course, you celebrate this uh, the entire year, but the importance of this month is to basically show all the members in our community, or even also non-Hispanic as well, that we are here. We celebrate your presence, that you are an amazing contribution, and that we acknowledge you. And I'm excited to like promote the conservation with our own communities because they belong here. They can bring so much to our conservation efforts, um, Latinos, for example. Uh, so there needs to be more of us out there.